Hello and welcome to Tile Capes. I'm your host, Cody Nestor. Alongside me is my co-host, Todd Heal. What's going on, guys? Uh, and today we're doing our first ever reaction commentary. We're calling it reaction commentary because what we're watching today is something Todd nor I have ever seen before. Todd, uh, what are we watching today? Today we're watching the animated film Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 1. Uh, if you'd like to kind of watch along with us, we've got it right now. We're paused on the WB animation logo at the beginning of the film. I'm going to say three, two, one, play, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. So three, two, one, play, and we are off and running. WB animation used to stand for something big. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> DC logo, used Warner stand. Brothers Animation <laughs> Presents. Also, yeah, DC also used to stand for something. Come on now. It still does. So when this was announced, I thought this was going to be a adaptation of the 1980s Crisis on the Infinite Earth storyline. Which is what I was hoping it was going to be as well. Because they announced what Watchmen and this right. as animated films. This is going to be a three-parter. In the, uh, was it Tomorrowverse? I think they refer to it as the Tomorrowverse, yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know. The Tomorrowverse has been hit and miss for me. Like, I've seen, what was the first one? Superman? Superman, was it Superman Man of Tomorrow? Something, Something like, like that. that. Superman, I watched some of it. I really enjoyed the long Halloween, but uh, it's been diminishing returns. I tried to watch World World the other day. Couldn't garbage. get through it. <laughs> garbage. Absolute trash, Todd. That was, yeah, the hardest thing I tried to watch in a while. Yeah, I watched it, but that was probably one of the worser ones in a while. So, all the old players are here. I think Jensen Ackles back as Batman. Oh, Got starting, Flash running? Yes, starting off with the Flash here. He always be running. What do you remember about the original storyline, Todd? I remember it was uh, DC's biggest event at the time. Uh, they somehow believed that their readers couldn't handle multiple universes anymore. <laughs> so they thought they just folded everything into one. They pretty much gave the keys to the kingdom to Marv Wolfman and George Perez. And it's like, here, blow it up, guys. We're going <laughs> to relaunch it. <laughs> uh, what, like, the main baddie is what, the Anti-Monitor? Yeah, the Anti-Monitor, yep. Wasn't there a lot of Alec? No, that was Infinite Crisis. I was thinking of Alexander Luthor. Wasn't that more Infinite Crisis than Alexander Luthor? I, I think so, yeah. The big thing to come out of Crisis on Infinite Earth was the death of the original, what, Barry Allen Flash? Barry Allen Flash. And Supergirl, original right? Supergirl died, yep. Yeah. Always a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> Flash loves him some apple pie. Is this Iris? This is Iris. She her name tag? It is Iris West, I guess. She works at a... Uh, a cafe? A little choking puke? <laughs> <laughs> I should say she's soon to be Iris West, I guess. She's yeah, not there yet. She's Iris question mark right now. Mm, obligatory flash slow-mo doing stuff scene, of course. I don't hate this art style. It's just I'm very tired of the same, uh, everything being the same art style. I like this a lot better when each movie had its own art style i mean a lot of it was hit and miss but it was, at least it was changed up every film yeah and it was like i don't know it felt more creator driven and like story driven like the things dc was doing with like bastardizing like taking the name of a very popular storyline and then not really adapting that storyline like what they did to hush and the judas contract yeah i <laughs> could never forgive that i will never let that one go <laughs> So they, oh, okay. They, I was going to say, do they know each other at this point? No, they don't. You're at lunch. She's working. <laughs> she served you lunch. There you see? Yeah. Called set, it. Yeah, set him straight. Yeah. You want to split this ham sandwich with me, Iris? Uh-oh. Trouble. Mm. Give me money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hobo outside <laughs> this. <laughs> Feed me to Who do you think that I? is? Spectre? Spectre in human form? Possibly. It's been a long ass time since I read Crisis on Infinite yeah, Earth. Same. And I don't think we're going by the same rules anyway. True, obviously. True. Who's this? 
Who's this Todd? Couldn't tell you right now. <laughs> Who's this android looking guy? Huh? Another speedster? Superman? Perhaps? Somebody with a gun? No, oh, cops. Huh? Cops, they're Superman. soupy. Rattled right his cage. <laughs> <laughs> An old Batman begins joke. <laughs> is this the Superman design that still has the belt buckle S? I believe. I can't see it. Yes. So I guess this is supposed to be a Mazo. Yeah. That does not look. Didn't the Mazo in the comics look like a big bulked out version of the Sandman? <laughs> He was kind of a, a, a weird-looking android. He had, like, a skull cap. But he looked like more of a human, though, right? Right. Like this guy, this guy, like, straight up. And he had, like, all the Justice League's power so he could instantly adapt them and use them. I think that's what he's doing right here, possibly. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this, you know, it doesn't look bad. Like, I'm... Like, I can deal with this, but... I would have really liked to seen the adapted kind of trying to make it in the Wolfman Perez style. Yeah, if they could ever do animation that looked anything close to George Perez's art, my God. <laughs> I mean, they can. It's just about yeah. money, though. Yeah. It's about the money, Todd. Give me a fucking money. <laughs> He drained me, Flash. Yeah, he does have that belt buckle. See? Yeah, he's got the S logo belt buckle. Not not terrible, but... No. So, Flash was sucked into another dimension here? Or just sucked into the fight? I think he was just sucked into this fight. I think you're right. I'm guessing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... We're, we're a few minutes... We're six minutes in, folks. We're already confused. This music though. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, uh -oh. green arrow. Yep. I've got a bow. So Ah, knee slapper. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> we're this we're in another continuity where the Justice League hasn't been formed yet, I'm apparently. It's looking that way. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. I don't, I don't feel too good back here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> A friend. Batman. Guarantee it, it's Batman. It's got to be Batman. Yep. Oh, stately There's the Wayne. manor. There's the manor. Nice design. Don't take your costumes off, fellas. <laughs> Alfred. Good Alfred voice. Very uh, Ephraim Zimbaltus Jr. esque. You got some eye bags going on there, Bruce. <laughs> Get some sleep, guy. Yeah, he's a little worse for wear. <laughs> he looks like he's having a baby in the back of the yeah, car. He's passed Close out. your legs, soups. <laughs> Get him out of the Volvo, fellas. Oh, back in the Where time stream. Where are you stream. going? Let's head to another continuity, shall we? I guess... What? So, did that really happen? Is he seeing things that did happen or will happen? Or did that actually just happen right now? He, tr he can... I think he's time traveling. Tri yeah. Time tripping. Okay. Apparently they're prepping for their wedding here. Do we move forward in time then? Obviously, because they just met. So, so he is he is spinning through time basically. Yeah. She asked him something right there about picking out uh, flowers for the reception. No, oh, your street bum guy. Hey, Mister. I'll give me some booze. Don't patronize me. Mm, I'll stay, Inspector. But now, yeah, I'm still going to say he's some kind of oh, specter. <laughs> you put your hands on me, bum. <laughs> <laughs> and back into the we're time. We're running. 
Looks better than the Chrono Bowl. <laughs> And now I have a son. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't call it my secret identity, son. <laughs> you watch my kid? No, it's not Damien. I thought it was Damien. Dick looked like he was up for eight days. <laughs> Is it because your family recently died in a tragic circus accident? <laughs> While he's down in the basement, drinking himself. <laughs> Wally. <laughs> Into oblivion. Yep, yeah, see. <laughs> ah, called it. Ah. Was it Tony Zuko, Todd? We can only hope. Yeah. <laughs> Adopt him, Bruce. Jesus Christ, you got the money? <laughs> <laughs> At least he's not 38 like he was in Batman Forever. <laughs> Meaning Dick Grayson, I mean. <laughs> the AARP Robin. <laughs> What will I do? My parents have died. Uh, they're going to put me in the system. You're 36 years old. <laughs> Chris O'Donnell. <laughs> You're a grown-ass man. Get out of my house. People are really in love with Jensen Ackles as Batman, aren't they? They seem to be shipping that quite a bit. <laughs> I don't know, man. I still, I'm still Team Alan Richson. For the next live action Batman, the Reacher guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm still that guy for Batman. I don't know. I know nothing against Jensen Ackles. I mean, he was good in like a soldier boy, but I don't know. You know, I think as far as animated voices, of course, when you go past the obvious, uh, I think my next favorite would be uh, Bruce Davidson, was it? Bruce Davidson. No. Um, the one that did Under the Red Hood. Am I getting his Hood. name wrong? Uh, yes, his name is not Bruce Davidson, I know. Uh, what is his this name? This is me, folks. <laughs> Hang on. A quick Google will fix this. When you get past Kevin Conroy, who is naturally the number one, obviously. Yeah, exactly. I thought he did a, a bang-on job. He also did it in Young Justice, too, I believe. Bruce Greenwood. Greenwood. Where did I get Davidson from? Bruce Davidson. Pete Davidson's father. Sorry, folks. Um, yeah, Bruce Greenwood. Yeah, I, th I think I agree with you. I like the guy. I don't know. He just did it like one time. I think the voice of Batman in, um, what was the the throwback one? Um, the New Frontier, Justice League, the New Frontier. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I like that guy's voice. I really like that line where he's with like he's talking to John Jones. He's like, "I've got a seventy thousand dollar rock to deal with the one in Metropolis. Like all I need for you is a penny for a book of matches." Right, right. I thought that dude had a good Batman voice. And Peter Weller didn't do too bad in the Dark Knight Returns. Ones it fit either. that version of yeah. that Batman, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Conroy, there's no one yeah, that can touch you, Conroy. You don't, you don't go above that. But I do like Bruce Greenwood. I mean, especially he, especially coming over to Young Justice too, he did really good. I mean, Ackles is fine, but he's just, I don't know. I think it's, uh, it's kind of running its course a little bit. I think, I think again, we it's nice to change it up. Yeah, every so often I think you need to just kind of, you know, recast. So we're trying to find this little old man. <laughs> okay. How about that? Good. A little medical history in your JL animated movie. <laughs> Where's the giant penny? <laughs> Where's the big T-Rex? Oh. oh, in my head, Alfred. How about a little sunlight? Yeah. Yeah. There you go.
But he could. He could kill you all. I've got contingencies. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's okay. You're obviously Oliver Queen. <laughs> your, your domino mask doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the domino mask. Why does Flash quite... have a pig nose when he's from side profile? <laughs> oh, hope they do another side profile. He's got a pig nose. The domino mask, not exactly the greatest superhero mask of yeah. all time. It might work on a, like a twelve-year-old boy as a as a ward and sidekick, but a grown-ass man, it don't really hide much. With not many people walking around with bright blonde hair and a, a blonde goatee, <laughs> with a, a decent physique. Oh, who was Do my little up? turn on the catwalk, Todd. Oh, on the yeah. catwalk. Yeah, on the catwalk. Oh, is this, is this that's, Vixen? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly who it is. She got highlighted a lot in Justice League Unlimited. Well, are they a couple? Or are they just recruiting? Hello. I'm definitely not Superman. <laughs> <laughs> So if You're, I'm remembering uh, right, her amulet gives her powers to do any kind of animal she can think of on the fly, I think. I think so. Who's this guy? I don't know. John Jones, maybe? Maybe. Oh, let me in. It's cold A. <laughs> <laughs> yep, John Jones. Putting together a team, you in? <laughs> you son of Here's a our bitch. seven samurai recruiting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, who's stopping random random crime on the streets? Is this Green Lantern? Yep. Oh, here's GL. Is, is it Hal? Hal? Is it John Stewart? It it's is Hal. Hal. Nice looking Hal, by the way. I didn't pay attention to the cast of this. Is it for Nathan Fillion? I don't know. I didn't. I either. hope it is, but it's probably not. He's got a very Nathan Fillion esque look about him. Hey, guy. We need a ring guy. You in? <laughs> What's up with that Batman logo? Nope. It's Nolan North as the voice. I can tell immediately. And you're a prick as always. <laughs> mm, do you? I mean, Vixen? Uh oh. Hey, where's my money? He sounds more like Constantine, but I'm still thinking Spectre. Uh oh. Now I'm kind of thinking more Constantine, this old bum. Which, I mean, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think Constantine had been created at the time of the original Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, you probably But like right. I say, you know, this is its own thing here. Everything's through the window on this one. Exactly. This is, are we time tripped into the future here? Or just a run down part of town? This is what happens if you don't fix things, Flash. This is feeling more like Flashpoint to me than Crisis. Is this possibly the crime syndicate's world, maybe? I did see them on the cover art. Yeah, I forgot that they're involved in this. Who's the big guy? Ult Ultraman? Ultraman. I think one of them's called Power Ring. Is that the one that was Owlman? Owlman. Johnny Quick. Wow. Uh, Superwoman, I think, is what their Wonder Woman alternate is. He just said it was Earth 3. Yeah, this is probably... I guess, I, I guess that's supposed to be Johnny Quick. <laughs> that's what the ladies call me. Oh, <laughs> 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 <Yes. laughs> yes. Is this a uh, speedster or is this Captain Boomerang? <laughs> Just with the accent. I Are mean. they trying to blend the two? I don't know. <laughs> this guy reminds me of Jace from Dragon Ball Z. Crikey, Captain! <laughs> he got a high power level, Captain! <laughs> hmm. 
Um, this this dude is annoying me. Yeah, this guy is annoying. Yeah, there's powering. Owl man. Superwoman. Ultraman. Gosh dang, Superwoman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Quick. Oh. They couldn't have thought up a better name than Power Ring. Is it James Woods uh, voicing uh, Owl Man again? I wished. That would be awesome. I think he's kind of went off the deep end with some of his. He's uh, got a mole. <laughs> mole. I think James Wood is kind of well off the deep end with some of his uh, political views and potential behind the scenes uh, things. So I don't think he's probably involved with this production. I think so far I've already had three or four flash forwards and six or seven flash sideways. Yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm, <laughs> flash adjacents. Uh, <clears throat> Hall of Justice. Hall of Justice. I'm tearing up over here. Uh, clean the place up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Before you do your grand unveiling, how about somebody running a fucking broom through the place? Am I blue? I was going to say, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I picked it up for this song. Am I blue? <laughs> What about the rest of them? Why yeah. to leave out the rest of the team? What about Vixen? Yeah, what about what she think about, about it? John Jones? Is he thrilled about it? Hey, Flasher. <laughs> the more I see that belt, the more I dislike it. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> it had been solid yellow with the S, maybe. Maybe. I'm hearing more and more that James Gunn is uh, leaning towards a black and red Superman logo for Legacy. Fleischer-esque, Kingdom I, Come-esque. I'm not going to poo-poo on it yet. We'll see. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you having a strong... T -t 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 Today, Junior. <laughs> He's having a strong... Flash, you all right? Damn. Oh, what's that going on? <laughs> Who threw that? Who threw that? Yeah. Watch <laughs> out, lady. Oh, who caught it? Ah, oh, Soupy. No Wonder Woman in this shit? Oh, Jesus Christ, look out. That's more of a main zone. Do something, Flash. Yeah. Put a baby in a microwave or something. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Catch that fallen dog. <laughs> Jesus. Thanks, omnipotent voice. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> a projectile in danger's backpack. Now Mezo is, he's helping. Ivo Shandor <laughs> from Ghostbusters. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Gotta love it. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Superman, definitely not human. <laughs> huh? New best friend. Shocking. <laughs> this is. I don't know what's going on here. New best huh? friend says Cyborg? not to hurt you. What is this? Who is what that? Metallo? Could be metal. Oh, it's Luther. Ah, slick Luther. He's got a land scheme. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> He's got a land scheme. Oh, 
What's wrong with that S? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind that suit, but uh, I don't believe a, a human can fit inside. What the hell? Did he, did he just got Superman in a pen? <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> he rolled him up. He rolled him up. I don't believe Luthor could fit in that suit. Like he's got a lot of room inside. It would have to be like a right to his body. Snap out of it. It's, the suit's got a very Evangelion looking face. It's got a very Ava 2 looking face. Is that your technical assessment, Batman? <laughs> what are you calling in a drone strike? Uh oh. Is this Brother Eye? Watchtower? He's launching a Gundam wing. Don't judge me, <laughs> you second rate version of me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, let's drop something from orbit on him. I don't know how a, a bomb drop from orbit is going to take this thing out when the Justice League can't. True. Something wrong. Uh oh, there. back into the. Here, here I, we go. Here I go again. I just kept running and running and running. Where are we at this time? The anti monitors world or home, perhaps. Yep, there's your money shot. This is the biggie. This is your titular infinite earth, Todd. And we ain't there long. Back. Oh! What is this? Who's got a whip? Oh, you can whip me anytime, honey. Yeah. <laughs> You're that mole. <laughs> Flash ass shot. <laughs> <laughs> Center frame, baby. So am I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, Ultraman. <laughs> oh. Oh, she's hell. In, she's in the Dom subway, this, this thing just picked up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I submit, baby. Whatever you want to do. It's true. <laughs> Ultra hearing. <laughs> Jesus, is that all he can power in could say? Checking out the cast of this film. Oh, oh, man. Dang. They got Luthor's head on the wall. Yeah, this, this picked up a little bit for me. I <laughs> 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 see what you did there. Government and criminals. <laughs> <laughs> Commentary. <laughs> I always like the, uh, the design of Owl Man. Looks like uh, Aldous Hodge is playing Power Ring. I'm pretty sure. Where have I seen that guy before? He was Hawkman in Black Adam. Ah, okay. Oh, Zachary Quinto's Lex Luthor. I didn't really? know that. Yeah. Okay. Lou Diamond Phillips is Owl Man. Are you? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Lou, Di Lou Diamond Phillips, Todd. Didn't see that one coming, but okay. Matt Lanter is Ultraman. Never heard of him. Never heard of that guy. 
Liam McIntyre is Johnny Quick. This is the Spectre. I saw his name listed on the voice cast. Man, out is Hodge. What are you doing here with <laughs> with this like one note delivery? Psycho pirates in this movie. Ooh, psycho pirate and nice. Hawkman apparently. The monitors to come. There's quite a few people here to we haven't seen yet. And is nigh. <clears throat> and here we go. Alexandra Daddario is Lois Lane. I don't know if you know her. She was in um, she was in the first season of True Detective. She was also in that Baywatch remake with The Rock. She's very attractive. She's also known for having um, um, big, uh, big, big, big breasts. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very attractive. Girl, Doesn't though. translate well to animation. No, uh, no, not quite. <laughs> this is John Stewart Green Lantern now, right? He's got a green ring on. I think so. The fuck is happening in this movie? Yep. Speaking of Alexander Daddario. I gotta get you to the church on time. <laughs> this is kind of a uh, mm, pseudo uh, skanky looking Lois Lane, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't quite look like a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist yeah. here. Yeah. Who's your favorite Flash Todd? Jake Eric, Barry Allen, Wally West? Oh. You know, honestly, I grew up on Barry Allen, but I think I would I'd probably give it to Wally. I really would. <laughs> yeah, when I was reading a lot of Flash, it was mostly Wally was at the time, so I kind of have a special place for Wally, too. <laughs> Just running and screaming. That's what I do. Pop. Spill that coffee. <laughs> Was that on the cane? It looks like a pill bottle almost. <laughs> Who is this supposed to be? Cyborg's daddy? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's Ivo. It's, it's Ivo, yeah. I don't think you're going to survive the trip, guy. <laughs> Looks, Luthor's got you holed up in here. Oh, 39, you look awful. <laughs> you must work at the same place Todd works. <laughs> <laughs> to, to look that advanced age. I'm telling you what, boy. <laughs> As Indy says, baby, it ain't the years. It's, it's the mileage. It's the mileage, that's right. <laughs> What a great movie. We're learning about carpal tunnel syndrome and, and, and uh, advanced aging syndrome. Yes, and, and infectious deadly diseases. This is great. Is that Krang? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Krang.
Not a huge fan of this Amazo design. I mean, it's fine, but... It's just kind of looks like a generic cyborg Yeah, it robot. doesn't have much character to it. I mean, obviously... Motionless it's, a, it's an android, but still. Yeah. Put me down. I have to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, you're skipping around. If I had a dollar for every one of these. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're we're 35 minutes in, and we're really not we're not getting much plot explanation. We're just doing a lot of jumping around. Which I guess the part the problem with this is this is part one of three, remember? True. How much can you unfold in part one? Yeah, true. Is this the end of Earth three? Is this the first world claimed by the anti monitor? Not Superwoman died. That one I just had a big crush on her. Yeah, exactly. And her lasso of submission. <laughs> Don't take her from us. Did you actually save someone, Ultraman? I know, right? You fucking just hypocrite. Blast him in <laughs> half. He should just like blast him in half after he saves him. I just pushed him right on he over. He pushed him right over, He's yeah. Right on over. I, I you just didn't want him better. to push him onto him. As long as they don't fall on me. Um, oh, not our statues. our statues. Yeah, it looks like Earth 3 is going bye-bye. Could you stop being so mysterious, old bum? <laughs> Backstory coming in. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, the other Tomorrowverse movie, Superman, Man of Tomorrow, Justice Society, World War II, didn't watch that one. Batman, The Long Halloween, enjoyed it. Yeah. Green Lantern, Beware My Power, did you watch it? Can't even remember what that was about right now. I know I, I watched say it. Say Green Lantern. <laughs> it's called Green Lantern Beware My Power it's probably about Green Lantern what about Legion knew, of Superheroes I didn't remember what the premise was Legion of Superheroes it was mediocre at best did you watch War World I did it was not not very good and then there's this that's what's considered the Tomorrowverse I think I remember that Green Lantern one now I think it was centered around Jon Stewart it was eh right so this is the seventh Tomorrowverse film so far. Two more to come. Yeah, I really hope uh, the new change over at D going to DCU and Gun. I'm really hoping they obviously Creature Commandos is coming out as the first animated project, but I'm really hoping we start to revamp the animation of DC um, and get more like creator driven stuff. Like people that are passionate about a project and want to do it, other than just like this cookie cutter <laughs> right. bullshit that we're getting right now. Like, let's have less things but better. Like, let's put a little bit more budget. Like, let's do some really cool things with animation, you know, a la across the spider verse and into the spider verse like yeah, marvel's exactly. doing or even i mean i mean those are live action releases but i mean even like let's put a little bit of a but let's instead of having seven tomorrow verse movies how about we have four really good animated films about something that have a nice budget about them and it's driven by a creator that really is passionate about the the source material and about telling the story that exactly. they want to tell or adapting an already used comic book story yeah but no, that's too 
It's too simple, Todd. <laughs> it's, it's too, too easy. It's too easy, yeah, exactly. Oh no, he's stealing the powers of Vixen. <laughs> he's going to turn into a tabby cat. I swear, every time I see that Luthor, I think Evangelion. I think <laughs> Ava 2. His face is very Ava 2. I wonder if this Amazo will have some kind of other form if like he absorbs enough metahuman power or something. Maybe. We can only hope. I can hope something interesting happens. This is not very interesting so far, I have to say. No. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that'll stop him. I know I'm gonna have to listen to you, Father. <laughs> That exploding arrow will stop this big mechanized Luthor, I'm sure. Yeah. No bat bombs either. Yeah. Sorry, Batsy. I'm pretty sure this is Nolan North's voice adapted for this Amazo, too. Can't quite tell. I mean, is Superman going to spend this entire first part, part, part one on his damn back, on his ass? I guess so. It's the it's the Superman problem, you know, like how powerful do you make him? But yeah, this um, this easel this easel easel this easily defeated Justice League is getting on my nerves. Like Superman has been down this entire match. I mean, fine. he's been laid up since this damn thing started. Yeah, he much. was in the back of a Volvo, and now he's just <laughs> on, on his on his back. Uh oh. Yeah. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Whatever happened to that airstrike we was calling down? We skipped away from that. Remember, we oh, we time tripped yeah. away we from the away. airstrike. Pig nose. <laughs> Do it. That's your dad. <laughs> Ting. <laughs> Just pops his head like a grape. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> and he's oh, dead. well, I, I transferred too much energy. I think he's worked. dead. You couldn't handle it, see? Yeah. He's gone. It's like that scene at the end of Ang Lee's Hulk. It's like, take it! Take it all! Uh, yeah. Uh, Professor, uh, yeah. He's pretty unwell, guy. <laughs> He's fucking dead. Uh-oh. You gonna flip your shit? Not a bad John Jones design. I feel Superman is too skinny. He needs to differentiate him a little bit more from Batman's body type. I <laughs> 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 just didn't give... What are the odds we all get McGregor's and die, Ty? <laughs> This, can we get if it's stage four we're all fucking dead yeah we're dead if we get like stage one or two it's fine we're gonna be alright Batman's really asking an android of the chances of getting some infectious disease during this battle uh, amazing what are the chances uh, Superman gets AIDS I never knew I was going to watch a Justice League film. I'd have to know a damn medical dictionary to understand right. it one day. Yet here we are. Torch him! Wait, how big is that suit now? Wait a minute. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was like a mezzo size. Now it's like... It's like a fucking giant. 
What do you What do you mean? Wait a minute. Wasn't it a mezzo size earlier? Wasn't your read on it that it was like kind of slightly bigger than a normal Maybe person, like enough to accommodate a human body, but now it looks like it's Iron Giant size? Right. What the fuck? Is he returning their abilities? Yes, feel it. What does it matter? Like, he's going to stay on his back all the time. With or without his abilities. What did you do, honey? You did nothing. You did. What is she? She hasn't even used her powers. I mean, I guess he stole them, but I mean, like, do something. Take him in very improper. Just chucks him into space. Oh, it shut down. Oh. They'll fix you. They, they fix everything. You have any idea what's going on, Don? I'm it, totally lost. The Hall of Justice now looks even worse than it already did. Right, Let's gown. take Luthor away, Elector style. Okay, they're putting a suit on a flatbed. It still now looks smaller than it was a while ago. It's varying degrees of height. Yeah. Hands in. Will be some kind of suicide squad. Ha ha ha, Batman. Your dry wit kills me. <laughs> what do we do with this dead android? R.I.P. Amazo. Well, here we go, Todd. You ready? Ooh, skipping are they, ahead. Are they married? At the house? Oh, he's old. Oh, he's old and Barry now. He's running from death now. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing he's this Barry Allen's running from is the grave. Oi, my back. Everything's slow. See how Iris is holding up. Got a little gray in her hair, maybe. She yeah. still looks as beautiful as the last time I saw her. Well, maybe a little age on Yeah. Her. Oh, yeah, she's got some bags. Yeah. <laughs> got some bags. Got some wrinkles. Did you pour my cup of Metamucil? <laughs> you have your Miralax ready? Looks like Jimmy Carter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I swear he ordered that day at the restaurant. They met. That is disgusting. <laughs> The mind is the first thing that goes, Barry. I wish I still remembered it. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing in my house? I'm Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Eat that disgusting slop, then then eat this disgusting slop. If Whoa. you know what I mean, Todd. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> we just don't get married. Yeah, I leave now. Uh, we are now 48 minutes in, and this is this is boring. So this is 90 minutes, you say? It's 90 minutes, yes. Ay, you. Imchanga. Why are you cross-eyed, Barry? You got that Shawn Michaels eye going on, Todd. <laughs> I'm over here, Barry. Yeah, look, look at me. I'm Vixen up here. 
Also, my eyes are up here. This uh, <laughs> this little jacket I'm wearing is a little low cut. Uh oh, who's interrupted my wedding? Let them speak now, or forever hold oh, their peace. peace. Don't marry that bitch, Barry. Oh, Wave Rider. Who <laughs> is this? Wave Rider. Harbinger, maybe not Wave Rider. I was gonna say Wave Rider. Wasn't well, that a game on N64? <laughs> With jet skis. Yeah. Harbinger. I was wrong. Yeah, it's, it's Harbinger. If you want to live. Somebody should just come from the side with a fire extinguisher and like put out her hair. <laughs> we paid too much for this chapel to let this bitch burn it down. <laughs> Why does Ollie have his air, his bow at Who the wedding? Who brings your bow to a wedding? <laughs> oh, here we go. Hopefully, this is starting to pick up. Oh, Jesus going to Christ. finally get some actual crisis. Mr. Oh, Terrific, Batgirl. I was Metamorpho. I saw Huntress, Hawk Girl. Is that Wildcat standing there? It's Wildcat, there? yeah. Hawk and Dove. Hawk and Dove. Oh, hell, we're pissed. If Captain Carrot shows up, I'm going to shit myself. Peacemaker was back there. <laughs> the Ray. Aqualad or Tempest? There's Aquaman, bearded, hook hand Aquaman. Man, what a scout. Our man looks like he's got one foot in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Who was working for Nazis? Wait a minute, what? Are you saying Aquaman was working for Nazis? I don't remember Aquaman ever working with no Nazis. Dick Grayson, I guess. Is that the Earth 2 Robin, perhaps? Who's that greenish dude right there? What's his name? The one that was kind of behind Robin? Yeah. There? Can't place him. There's the Challengers of the Unknown. The Creeper? The Creeper. That's who I was talking about. Yeah, okay. There's this guy's over there in the... Red Tornado back there with his back to us. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. The most excitement we've had so far is picking out characters, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's the cameos <laughs> of people in the background, exactly. I actually perked up. I want to see who I recognize. <laughs> <laughs> now we're focusing on the story, and it sucks again. Ain't that a girl from Legion of Superheroes? I think that was Jade. Is that Zatanna she just stepped in front of? I don't know who that hippie or whatever that dude is back there. <laughs> <laughs> the daughter of Batman and Catwoman. Is that is cowboy? That, is that the vigilante? <laughs> is that um what's Oliver Queen's sidekick? Speedy? Speedy, yeah, Speedy was back there. Metamorpho uh, Firestorm? Firestorm? Firestorm, yeah. Vixen, yeah. of course we Vixen, know her. Yeah. Hey. Oh hey, what's going on? An is older super boy? I think that's No, that's There's oh, a, that's our super. Why does the Tana look like a a wax dummy? <laughs> Somebody bring her. Oh, that's the uh, uh, the see the back the 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 what is his name? He's that's got that that blue bat suit on that mechanical one. Did you see him? I missed it. Uh, uh, I random know. random mob boss guy. Blue beetle, take cord. Hmm. Oh, the question. Is that Uncle Sam? I believe that's Uncle Sam. Damn, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Something to do, yeah. Who's Dr. Hoshi? Is that Dr. Light? I think at this point, or back in the day, I think when Crisis came out, the Dr. Light was a female, I believe. Okay. They should really do an animated version of Identity Crisis, but, like, do it good. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite stories. 
Uh, was that Swamp Thing? I thought I saw a, a Swamp Thing for a second. See yeah, one. see him? Yep, Swamp, swamp thing. thing. This is one in blinking. You're going to miss something cameo wise. <laughs> right. Yeah, yep, she's Light. Dr. Light. We actually have the name drop of the monitor finally. Right. <laughs> oh, scan that background heel. <laughs> Star Sapphire in the purple right there. Yeah, that is Star Sapphire, yep. Metal Man. <laughs> Was that Gorilla Grodd too? I saw I saw a gorilla. I don't know why he'd be there, but I don't know who this guy is. That snapper car? <laughs> <laughs> snapper car. I think he's somebody to move our plot along. Maybe he's a human form of the monitor. Is that that was Psycho Pirate right there? Yep. Oh, uh, nobody understands what's happening either. <laughs> Join Don the Star. club, honey. <laughs> Hill. Jay Garrett. Not familiar with Dawn Star. Me neither. Looks like she's of Native American heritage. Oh, here he is. Here he is There's the, the monitor. monitor. He just was in disguise, in disguise as some kind of mob boss. Who's that with a musket back there? <laughs> was somebody with a musket? Yeah, he looked like a musket. He had a musket. He looked like a <laughs> frontiersman, like Lewis and Clark. Uh oh. Behold. The multiverse. Man, look at that mullet on Aquaman. <laughs> Aqua mullet. Here's our plot finally. Why does he remind me of a purple vandal savage? <laughs> he does, don't <laughs> he? He does. So I know this had to be padded out, but now this whole entire thing with Amazo, just why? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it probably will come back later at some point, but if not, if it really was just some kind of like way to pad out this, then that pisses me off. But <laughs> I'm hoping it comes back at some point in, a, in part two or three of this. Look at Ted Cord. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> hmm. And now we go back to this shit. It's foot in the grave. Change for work? You still working? <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard of retirement? You still working at the uh, crime lab? Look, it don't quite shoot out as far as it used to, <laughs> does it, Barry? <laughs> uh, this kind of fell out there and fell down, didn't it? <laughs> suit's looking a little limp, Barry. <laughs> Dang, Iris. Oh, Jesus. mercy. She must have cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> What's she reckon there, Barry? You run downtown in, what, 6.5 hours? <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Uh-oh. This is, back. To, is this back to Earth 3's yeah. final demise? Good for you, Power Ring. What's that symbol supposed to be on his chest? It looks like the Fox searchlights. <laughs> it does look like the cross Fox searchlights, don't it? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oof. 
Bye Verse bye. 3, we hardly knew ye. <gasps> oh, cuss a little bit. Word. Fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't do that. Yeah. I wouldn't punch it. Bad idea. I would definitely not touch it. But you go ahead, Dad. Yeah, go knock yourself out. Don't don't you go. You no, stay. You stay back. Uh... Ultraman punched things real hard. No one ever said they were the smartest punch, Yeah. Day. Except maybe you, Except Al, you man. Al, man. Yeah, yeah he's walking away. <laughs> he knows that he's, he's stupid. Yeah. Lou Diamond Phillips, everybody. I did prefer James Woods, though. Did he fly into it? I think he flew into he it. He said it was stupid and flew into it. Look at that Taco Bell dog. I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Yokiero just... antimatter wall. He's ready to go. <laughs> oh, man's ready to go. We're going to build a huge wall. Yeah, this, this wall's huge. <laughs> huge It's going to stop the antimatter wall. A better, <laughs> bigger wall. <laughs> yeah, you, you think you're done, Power Ring. He no longer exists. And gone. How's that plan to punch it working? Oh, throwing a car at it. That'll work. It's eating and decimating everything in its path. Throwing a car at it. Throw a Buick it. at it. Throw yeah. a bus at it. Throw a Greyhound at it. That'll stop it. Just, just get out of there. Just accept it, honey. Just close your eyes. Yep. Yeah, close them. She's she's close them. Uh, yeah, she's resigned herself to it. Dare I say, and submit to it. Yeah, <laughs> the antimatter wall of submission. Yeah, missiles. That'll do it, out, man. Yeah. Yep, Superwoman just got decimated. A Green Lantern, but yeah, your your missiles will destroy it. Bye, Lou Diamond Phillips. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, nuclear. Oh, 312. Yeah, just, just pilot it in there. Yeah. You're gone anyway. And that did nothing. What are you going to do? Outrun it? Doubtful. <laughs> you might be able to run through the speed force and try and travel away from it. Yes, cameo time. Is that, is that Zatara? <laughs> it was either Zatara or a very manly Zatanna. <laughs> <laughs> the R thing. Reminds... Elongated man. Yeah. Ah, we get it. Questions. I get it. You said <laughs> over there with a spear. This sounds like, um, the narrator from Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Oh, he does, don't he? Which is also the guy that does the voice of uh, Dr. Loomis in the Halloween H2O when we read it, remember? It's the same guy. Again. I think it's him. I could be wrong. Okay. But if it is the person that does the narrator from Star Wars, Clone Wars, it's the same guy from Halloween H2O does the Loomis voice. Mr. Terrific. This is Mr. Terrific's powers. I don't even remember. He had those T spears or something he controlled. I think in the DC universe he was like one of the highest, if not the highest, intellect or something. Right. I'm thinking. Over Batman? No, I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, <laughs> number two then.
I know it's supposed to be a younger Superman, but I still think he looks a little too slender for my tastes. I, mean, I don't think he doesn't need to be super bulky, but so I'm confused. Is one of them Earth Two Superman and one of them Earth Ones? Our Earth Superman, Earth One Superman. The one, the one with the reg, the the one with the belt we've been talking about is the Earth One. I don't think she said he wasn't. I don't think he said he was Earth Two. He's just from another Earth. Okay, okay. Is that you, Carter Hall? Well, the Justice Syndicate thought they could. Yeah, don't tell that to Ultraman. <laughs> Ooh, one of the Blackhawks was standing back there. Gorilla Grodd. Atlantis Earth. Hmm. See that musketeer looking dude with the, the oh, yeah, yeah. raccoon hat? I don't know who that is. Amazing man, okay. I disagree. I don't think he's that amazing. How y'all gonna stop this? Y'all barely could stop a mazo. Where's the black canary? Brainiac 3? Is it Brainiac 3? Brainiac 2? <laughs> I don't know. Where's Freakazoid? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that boat captain back there? Man, that is a Tana. God almighty. They did her dirty, didn't they? They did her very dirty. Was he in blue? The boat captain? Yes. Guy? I think I was one of the Blackhawks. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Silverhawks? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. All right, here it is. This is where everything gets totally fucked, probably. Way to go, greaser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flying into it. He really is going to try to punch it. And he's dead. He just disappeared into it. Thought we'd get some kind of reverb. Right. But nothing. Dodge those. Oh, didn't. If you can dodge a wrench. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh, it stabbed him. Okay. Oh. A piece of rebar right in the gut. Plus one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Don't dodge that car or nothing. Jesus. You couldn't have dodged that car. You've seen it coming. Um, be down in the basement <laughs> watching Brazzers. Barry's kept a mazo all these years. Is that the cosmic treadmill? Kind of looks like a hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Don't throw out your hip, Barry. <laughs> Jesus. Well, he just kept a mazo's head and uh, neck. <laughs> Ooh, that's all I got right that's now. All right. So. Ooh, I, gotta, I need a nap. <laughs> I need to lie down. I have made your funeral arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> you will be buried in Coast City Cemetery. <laughs> Twenty minutes to go, Todd. Woo! Power <laughs> through. 
Throw more cameos at me, baby. Yeah, that's the <laughs> only thing that's perked us up this whole time. Man, I do not like that Aquaman. He looks like Opie from Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> but worse. What you tell me, bitch? <laughs> GG, Whoa. well. Leaning, well. In, leaning into this no rating or whatever. Plus I don't one. Know, <laughs> I don't even know what it's rated. I don't think it is rated. You really know we're padding this film when we're scenes of Flash delivering coffee. <laughs> we're really in the last 20 minutes of this movie. We're talking about coffee. I know, right? Huh? Huh? One more again? Todd, you got a massive vibrational generator in your bedside. No, don't it was, you? hey, wait a minute. Come on now. <laughs> this is about the crisis, Cody. No, I'm sorry. I mean to make it personal. <laughs> <laughs> Todd said you were the highest intellect. <laughs> he's up there. I ain't going to put he's him above. Top three. I ain't going to put him above uh, Batsy. They're going to Atlantis. <laughs> you ever think Aquaman got freaky with a fish? You know, like a blowfish, you know? Oh. You ever think he got freaky with well, something? It's, a it's, flounder? It's possible. It's possible. Or the darkest two. depths of the ocean? Yeah. No one can hear the fish scream. Earth four? Earth one? That's our Earth. Because, <laughs> you know, we're number one. Yeah. The hell is that, man? that? It's the bat level. <laughs> <laughs> I can make sure anything is straight with the bat level. <laughs> you guys building that? I'll make I'll sure be... it's level. <laughs> is this edge square? <laughs> Let me get the bat level out. Oh my Jesus God. Christ. That was good. <laughs> the bat level. I swear to God, that's what it did look like. No, <laughs> oh, more of this bullshit. Come on. Ooh. Old baby. You ain't gonna make it, Barry. You ain't gonna this make it. This thing is there. padded more than a 1980s Dolly Parton Brazier. <laughs> Oh, hot dog. You ain't got much farther to go, babe. You've run your last race, my boy. Hey, bring the bat level up here. <laughs> yes, Clark? You didn't look under her pants, did you? Hmm. Was a Lois in the sack? <laughs> Great Scott. Uh oh, here it comes. Whose earth is this? Yeah, it's coming though. And what is that, Batsy? 
Oh, God, Scanning itself a word, Todd. <laughs> you sure about that? I think it's pretty sentient. Uh-oh. So, yeah, what, I don't even understand the plan here. I don't know what they were trying to construct either. Come on, reveal yourself as the specter. Let me write. Let me be right. Run to her. Why do you sound like Alan Moore? <laughs> Run to her. <laughs> Fuck Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Not the galaxy broadcast system. Hold them close. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. This needed to bake in the oven a little bit longer. This wasn't ready for prime time. No. This story was not ready. This adaptation of it was not ready for prime time. Man, I really don't see what we're going to do in two more parts of this thing. Oh, Oh, man. It's just tugging it. <laughs> nice heartwarming moment. Well, I think this—I mean, this is Earth One still, right? It's got a thought. Uh-huh. Everybody was there. Well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe they all traveled to another. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm confused, but I think this is Earth One. He's gonna vibrate her out of there. <laughs> Yeah, man, this jumps around a lot. I think that was kind of, was that what they were building? Something to vibrate like Barry so that maybe the wave would pass through them? Maybe, yeah. Man, y'all really hanging in there, huh? (laughs) What are you, 98 now? He's older than Jay Garrett by this point. (laughs) Look at that ass, though. Still hanging in there. Oh, God, oh, no. You yeah. worked her too much, Barry. <laughs> you worked her to death, Barry. Can you see her through the cataracts? Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Uh-oh. I can't Don't do this. it, Iris. Ooh-wee. Don't go, Iris. Come on now. Looks like Jimmy Stewart. No, Iris. Please don't go, Iris. <laughs> What's this in my pocket? <laughs> Santimatter paddles. <laughs> Santimatter paddles. <laughs> that you throw them all. <laughs> I'm coming, uh, Elizabeth. <laughs> don't be late, Barry. Uh-oh. A wizard is never late, Tom. He arrives precisely when he means to. And R.I.P. Iris. Hooey. Minus one. Minus one point. And we're back. And I'm... No. Uh oh, just gonna be back. It's getting emotional. I can't do this. <laughs> this reminds me of the ending of the Gotham Knights video game. Dad Bruce. Tell him you love him. Tell him you love. Mm. No, you can't do it, Todd. You can't do it. Get up there, Jesus. Come on, Barry. Yep. <laughs> you really gonna trust the Mazo? So I guess whatever this Barry's doing is gonna 
potentially prevent the destruction of our earth, maybe, by some time. Perhaps. Suck our heroes to him? I don't know. Wish they'd get on with it, though. (laughs) 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 Whatever's about to happen, I wish they'd get on with it. You gotta either get busy living or get busy dying. Well, they moving on on that tower. Yeah. Here we go. So are we get is this version of Barry gonna run himself to death? To stop Just, this one wave, I guess. I guess so. I mean, if we're are we killing the Flash in part one? Part one. <laughs> I think that's what we're looking at here. Hamster wheel of death. Powering through a mazo to power this. Maybe I didn't pay close enough attention to this or what, but I don't understand what this machine is doing at all. Okay, it's Earth 2 tower. So are they synchronizing towers? Perhaps, yeah. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're synchronizing the towers. Gondor calls for aid. (laughs) We got three towers, I guess Earth One, Earth X, and Earth Two. The I thing reminds me of OMAC. Oh yeah. Yeah, the rest of you just stand around, that's cool. Yeah, to vibrate, to pass them all through. Oh, no. Uh-oh, Barry got knocked out of the wheel. Are we vibrating through, or are we gone? They gotta, they gotta have made it. Sure, now you come around. <laughs> He's not fooled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay, Yay, we pass through. Pass through. This universe continues. And by that I mean the tomorrow verse. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Not Ooh, really. No, I don't Not know. Not in my opinion. We think about it, mullet man. <laughs> oh, it's Mira. And Aqualad. Aqualad Aqualad had a small afro. Did you notice that? (laughs) It went by so quick, I didn't catch it, though. Skank Lane. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Truth. I'm the second most smartest man. (laughs) I was going to say. To Batman. (laughs) (laughs) Out Spectre. Classic. Kind of design specter. Not much changed about his design. No. Like others. Man, I wish one day they would uh, do a kingdom come, but I'm so scared that they would fuck it up. Go away. Go away, specter. Not... Oh, Barry made it. He appears to still be breathing. Yep, he's alive. Alive and covered in soot. I don't think Amazo made it. I don't think Amazo made it, Barry. No. He's no. done. No sacrifice, no victory. We're Supergirl. (laughs) 
Put on some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Death is best looking Todd. What are we setting up here? The continuation. unmoored in time so you can just he can go anywhere now wasn't it originally Jake Garrick Flash that died or was it Barry it was Barry wasn't it it was Barry oh, yeah. yeah it was Barry oh here we go Is he going to run so fast he de-ages? No. Oh, he's back at where he got turned into the Flash. Back to the origin. It's me, Barry. You think Ezra <laughs> Miller's going to show up? Oh, God, please. Come on now. Who's the warlord? Oh, God. <laughs> I remember this from that fucking War World movie. No. Why is he like... Like he's like a... a you know, he's like on a chain like a gimp. Was the white beard guy supposed to be Superman? Or is he another character? The guy right there with Bruce Wayne? Yeah. He was a character called the Warlord. Mm. He had a series back in the 70s, I'm pretty sure it was. Mm, okay. Man, this movie's hard to follow. Or we're just dumb. That could be a possibility. A strong possibility. <laughs> we're just idiots. You are cordially invited back to the wedding of Iris and Barry Allen. They're dancing. They need that dude from like the uh, that like wedding singer from like the Will Ferrell movies that like cusses. <laughs> I want to kiss you all over. <laughs> over and again. Cheers to you, soups. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, setting up John Stewart and Hawk Girl. Ah. Uh. Still Ship, shipping them in this universe, yeah, too, I see. Still shipping them. Ting, ting, ting. I have, have a, your attention, please. We only have this place till 8. <laughs> so time everyone clears out. Uh, <laughs> Fade to white. Uh-oh. Well, Psycho Pirate. What do you see? The who's that? Dawn Star. That was Dawn Star. Yeah. Yeah. Is she any relation to Apache Chief? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she does. She has a Native American motif. Brainiac Five. Uh, you're way off, Ty, with your numbering. So am I? Oh, oh man! No. What is it? They're getting blipped, Todd. This is we're totally ripping off Endgame. <laughs> this is a blatant rip off of Endgame. You don't seem too broken up about it. 
I've got a little oh, emotion. Oh, right in front of her eyes. Man, this is straight in game. <laughs> Just with less interesting characters dying. Did any of us ever really exist, Brainiac? True. Is this all a simulation? Are we in the Matrix? Oh. Here you go. <laughs> Come back, Brainy. Roll well, credits. And, yeah. That's our cliffhanger. That's our cliffhanger. Roll credits. Why for some kind of a uh, stinger or post credits? Post we'll, or mid? We'll let these roll. We'll, we'll find let, out together, folks. Yeah. What did you think here, Todd? Uh, very, very confusing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously we're we're trying to watch it and talk and stuff. Maybe we're cutting it short, but I, it's very it jumps around too much. Hey, with Bill Finger, I saw that. Just want right. to make, just want to make sure Bill Finger got his credit as he should. But yeah, it jumped around way too much for my taste. I don't think this is this is not a very well done adaptation of the story so far. If you're asking me. Man, I know if you're gonna do three parts, I know you got you got a pad somewhere, but it seemed like that whole first thing act with Amazo fighting Amazo. I don't know. That seemed like padding. It really does. I mean, maybe it comes back into play later, but it does seem like it's it's padding to uh, get us to an hour and a half runtime for you know, while mean, we wait for part two and three. Yeah, I mean, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I mean, it's kind of tough to to do commentary on something you're seeing for the first time, I guess. Right. So, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm willing to, you know, kind of, I guess, hold my tongue a little bit <laughs> Yeah, here, but it's but... pretty underwhelming. Like, it seemed like they were hyping this up as, like, a big thing, you know? And I'm pretty underwhelmed with it regardless. Like, there wasn't any really cool action scenes. No, no major battles or set pieces. I mean, when the most excited we got is picking out cameos. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> exactly. Which, I mean, I perked up, baby. But, you know, it just. There was uh, not really any good character interaction moments either. Like, no. It's a pretty flat fucking film, if you ask me. Like, it, it's definitely. It continues the trend of mediocre. Tomorrowverse films, if you're asking me, I think the Long Halloween is still the standout here. That that had the same art style, but it felt it felt fresh. It felt like there was more effort put into the art style and a lot more effort into everything. This just feels like another mediocre. Which I guess technically too, this is all. I guess this is the last big hurrah because it is the last probably DC animated feature you know of sorts bef that in Watchmen before we go over to the DCU and true the last line ha oh, George okay. Perez oh, that's a plus one there yeah, for plus, me I'll give it a plus two there yeah, a great great DC veteran there George Perez there's our DC our Warner Brothers animation I guess we're logo no, nothing else no doesn't seem like we're getting no, no we're done no <laughs> no post credits no end credits so yeah um Pretty mediocre. I mean, we're not going to throw a review or anything to this. We're kind of watching it and kind of reacting as we go. But uh, hopefully everybody that's listening to this, if you did kind of stay around to the end, hopefully this is something you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope to do more of this as we go uh, yeah. into the future. Um, but like I said, if it's something you guys are interested in, if you want to hear more about this, let us know in the comments. Uh, Todd, can you let people know how they can stay in touch with us and find us on social media? Yeah, we are at uh, Tau Capes on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tau Capes Podcast on Facebook. You can also email us at TauCapesPod at gmail.com. Uh, if you enjoy the show, following us on your podcast platform of choice and subscribing to our YouTube channel really help us out. We want to thank you so much for listening. Until next time, bye, guys. See you, guys.